I want to briefly cover the preparation of ryegrass seed here. Ryegrass seed is commonly used for sclerotia producing species. The basic recipe calls for one and a quarter cup or 300 milliliter of ryegrass seed and one half that amount by volume of water. So that would be five eighths of a cup of water, which is uh, roughly 150 milliliters. And you want to put a pinch of gypsum in there to help prevent clumping. The procedure I use that works very well for me is to simply put the rye grass seed into your jar and then add the pinch between your thumb and forefinger of gypsum. It helps to swirl the gypsum into the grass seed and then add the water. Now when using uh, grass seed for sclerotia producing species such as morels, I often use one half of the moisture as coffee. For purposes of this demonstration, I've used plain water, but understand if you are growing a sclerotia producing species, coffee will definitely give you a boost. So if you've brewed a pot of coffee that morning, simply use uh, half of your mixture as coffee and then fill up the rest of it with just plain water. Uh, mix that into your grass seed and I like to put a solid lid on the jar, one without holes, and shake it very well. And then leave it to sit for a few hours to hydrate the grass seed. Once your grass seed is hydrated, take the solid lid off and put your lid with holes in a filter. I went into detail in the uh, grain prep section on different types of lids, so I won't repeat that now. But once your uh, rye grass seed is hydrated, simply put your filtered lid on, cover it with foil, and pressure cook for an hour at 15 pounds per square inch, which is uh, 100 kPa.